Welcome to the Puffer Sailing Club. Let's watch the very basic sailing maneuvers to help you learn to sail. In order to sail upwind, you need to sail a zigzag course. Each turn through the wind is called a tack. Before each tack, sail close hull, then push the tiller away from you. After turning about 90 degrees, straighten out the tiller. The hands that control the main sheet and the tiller need to switch. Again, push the tiller away from you. When the sail crosses the boat, you cross. Switch hands and continue sailing in your new direction. Jiving is turning through the wind as you go downwind. When getting ready to jive, let your sail out all the way. Move your weight down in the center of the boat. Turn slowly and hold on tight to your tiller. When the sail begins to switch sides, duck and straighten out the tiller. If you let go of the tiller, the boat will naturally turn. So hold on to the tiller at all times. When properly trimmed, your sail won't luff. When sailing, look up often and check your sail for luffing. If you see a luffing, she didn't sail until the sail just stops luffing. You can use both hands to sheet in. If you turn the boat directly into the wind, the sail will automatically luff. This is called being in irons. Since the sail is luffing, you slow down quickly. You can still turn out of irons if the boat is moving. If you turn into irons and allow the boat to stop, you'll need to back out. Simply let your sail out and push the tiller to one side. You can't sail forward until your boat is 45 degrees from the wind. So be patient, it may take a little while. Once turned, straighten the tiller, pull in your sail, and take off. An easy way to do a planned capsize is to hold on to the hiking strap and lean out until you're sitting in the water. Once you tip over, immediately swim to the center board. Often you can right the boat before it goes upside down. If you take too long to swim to the center board, your boat will turn upside down, and this is called turtling. If the boat is turtled, you'll need to climb up until you can stand on top of the boat. Use the center board to pull yourself up, but put your hands only on the front edge of the center board. The back edge can be very sharp. Sometimes gravity will pull your center board down, and you don't want your hands in the way of a falling blade. This is a safer way to get on the boat with your hands in front of the center board. Holding on to only the top of the center board, lean back and let your weight pull the boat over as you sit in the water. Once the boat is up, you need to get in. Push yourself slightly down the water, give a strong kick, grab the hiking strap, and pull yourself in. You will usually need to reconnect the rudder. Make sure to put the tiller underneath the traveler. When landing, approach a pier so the pier is upwind of you. Let your sail out to slow down.
when some distance from the pier, plan your landing. A good way to land is to sail a close hauled course. Periodically let your sail out all the way to slow down. Then pull in the sail as needed to give you just a little more power. Remember, when in doubt, let it out. If the wind is super light, as you let your sail out, you may need to push the boom out to make it luff. When you get to the pier, ask someone to grab your line or grab the pier yourself. With basic sailing skills, you'll love sailing too. Those are some of the basics of sailing a small boat. Practicing these skills can be fun, will increase your confidence, will make you a better sailor. Welcome to the Buffer Sailing Club.